Okay, good evening. It's a big pleasure for me to be here. Excuse me for my poor English. Uh, but I am. Uh, it's a very. It's a very important and I can say sentimental uh, moment for me to be here. Not only because we opened the exhibition of Anya Bogdziewicz, but also uh, because uh, we are collaborate with Liget Gallery uh, since a long time. I, I mean we, that's the Polish group of the artists which was concentrated before in Mała Gallery but it survived and we have a permanent contact since almost 30 years. This exhibition is very special because it's a very special project. Anya Bogdziewicz is working on it since 82. So it's over 30 years and in my as I know, in my knowledge, I think it's uh, one of the long-term permanent photographic projects. We have possibility to see only very, very small part of this uh, enormous, long and big project which contain, I can say, thousands of photos. Ten thousand photos. So, so you can... Be, you can imagine how it was difficult to make a choice for 48 pictures. To give, to, to give the feeling what, what is the project in total. And of course we can read, we can look on this in different levels, but uh, Anya's work is concentrated on daily life, but daily life is mixed also with the big and very important events we, we pass, our generation, let's say. Simply is, is our history and uh, with the very important moments like you will see the moment of the strike in 88 or the martial law photos during 80s, the beginning of freedom in, in, in 90s, the Dzerzhinsky monument and so many details I would like not to tell about everything but it's really very important that she she's doing the life around her but also we have this feeling about the big history which passed. <laughs> And I would like to say that she's not only a photographer, but also she's uh, art critic. She writes about, about photography. 
She made an exhibition as a curator. She made a fantastic interview with Annie Leibovitz, which we have uh, in our Fototapeta internet magazine, which was most frequent uh, place in the, in the whole Leibovitz uh, internet place, let's say. Tehát uh, onnan nem csak uh, fotográfus, hanem uh, kritikus, és uh, gyakran ír is, publikál is cikkeket, és az egyik uh, legfontosabb ez a tapétában, hogy a Vibos. No, 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 it's a photo tapeta, it's independent. No, that, uh, that uh, a photo tapeta, jelent meg az Anna mm-hmm. uh, Leibovic-ról, egy kaj, ami a Leibovic honlapján a egyik legfontosabb helyen van. Last time Anya prepared, last year we can say, she, you prepared these two big books, mm-hmm. which we can present here, I yeah, suppose. Well, and, uh, and what else? Uh, she will tell probably herself something more about, about this project. But in the end I would like to say that I am very thankful to Tibor that we can prolong our long relationships and our collaboration and, and the beginning of this collaboration is on that wall which is the special uh, annex to this exhibition which Anya prepared specially for the show when we start to be the first time uh, in Budapest in 88 and was a group of the artists from Poland, very famous like Robakowski, Józef Robakowski, Zygmunt Rytka, Antoni Mikołajczyk. And it's the beginning of the fantastic exchange of the, uh, not only artistic projects, but what I am very proud of that is also creation of a big friendship, uh, which survived until today. So that's, I am very proud and uh, I appreciate it very much. Thank you. Tehát az utolsó hosszú rész az úgy nézett ki, hogy a, e, valahol a táskában van még két könyv, amit tavaly publikált az Anna, amit majd mindjárt e, meg lehet e, tekinteni. Megköszönt a Tibornak, hogy ezt prolongálta, tehát hogy ő ideig fenntartott ezt a kapcsolatot, hogy építette, e, és megmaradt a mai napig ez a jó kapcsolat. Az a fal rész pedig kimondottan arról szól, amikor először 88-ban itt járt a, egy nagyon jó művésztársasága, a Robakowski utól, aki filmes, a Zsepeckiék, a Kucskaliszka nevű csoport, a Mikolajcsik, a Zsigmund Ritka, és sokan Mások. Okay. Ja, és nagyon szépen köszönöm. So that, that és hogyha Anna szeretne valamit, if you would say something. Thank you for coming. And I'm happy also to be here in Liget, a galleria, because it's a very special and small gallery. I love to present photo diary in small galleries. Kim, köszönjük természetesen, hogy örül, hogy itt van, és hogy nagyon szereti a Liget Galériát, mert kicsi, és szeret általában kis helyeken kiállítani. This project is a difficult project. Ez egy nehéz munkafolyamat. When I started, it was kind of political reaction to communist propaganda, to the lies that were in papers. And I just started without uh, big reflection, I just decided to make photos of what was around me and to make my own commentary. Tehát ez a, a, a még a kommunista idők alatt kezdődött maga a projekt, amikor a, a korabeli sajtók tele volt hazugságokkal, és félrevezető információkkal, és azért kerültek hozzá magyarázatok, tehát valódi hiteles ö, ö, személyes megjegyzések, pont ennek ellensúlyozására. Because usually photographers uh, report photos, which are for instance in the press, 
and get the commentary which is written by someone else. Tehát általában a riporterek, akik a sajtónában folyóiraknál dolgoznak, akkor megkapják a szöveget, vagy utólag valaki más írja a szöveget a kép, ez a kép aláírás. And the same picture can be can have different captions and then gets different meaning. Tehát ugyanaz a kép kaphat más kontextust a szöveg miatt egész más jelentést is. So I wanted to give my own commentary and also to provoke the viewer to have maybe his own commentary that could be different from mine. Tehát ezért írta, magyarázta el, vagy fogalmazta meg a saját képét, hogy is írta a képeket. Ezzel provokálva a nézőt, hogy, a, hogy ő is megtalálja a saját véleményét. Ami nem feltétlenül azonos az övével. And also the picture and the text, which are two factors, the connection creates a certain third space, and it becomes something more than the picture and the text. That, mint ahogy a a két külön felület, a tehát ugye egy két külön forma, a szöveg és a kép együtt egy harmadik dimenziót hoz létre. And now my tactic quickly proved, uh, how to say, successful in that sense that the censorship that existed in the 80s and I was showing, trying to show uh, this project photo diary in, in uh, state galleries and very often the picture remained but the text was censored. <laughs> rendszerváltás vagy a kommunista idők alatt a kiállítást ö, ö, ha próbált csinálni vagy csinált, akkor általában nem a kép lett cenzúrázva, hanem a szöveg. The other idea was that private life uh, under the communist system, but maybe under a different system, political system also, is mixed with politics. And you could not really separate it. That általában a magánélet átfonódik a politikával, szóval nem lehet külön választani. A talán ma is összefügg a politikai környezetben. So the private pictures that are here in the photo diary are mixed, are somehow in the political context. Till today, I would say. Till Tehát today. A mai napig a, a személyes része ennek az anyagnak szintén politikával van vitatva, és ez működik a mai napig. And I also had the chance, because I was sort of engaged in the opposition movement, so when the times changed, I had the I had possibility to be close to the events because of people I knew from underground work. That's why I could be, you know, close to Lekvalensa or to Kadosh Mazowiecki or some other people. And it's even up to today, although I'm not so active, because the times go by and one gets older. Tehát a jelenzőki mozgalommal való személyes kapcsolat adta meg a lehetőséget, hogy egyre közel kell ilyen olyan eseményekhez adóba nem mindenki fért. Ez a személyes kapcsolat a mai napig megvan a különböző ellenzéki vezetőkkel, de hát vannak, akik megöregedtek. Now, since my childhood, I was uh, really living, living my life in my eyes to a very high degree. So what I see is uh, what I live. And photography seems to be a perfect tool to 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 live with, I would say. That nem választódik külön a a fényképezés és a magánélet, tehát egy ilyen folyamatos együtt működésben létezik. 
And although this uh, I make small prints yeah. and it seems to be very easy, it's very difficult to continue for such a long time. And very often I'm tired, I'm sort of fed up with it, but I cannot stop. That you put a nectar to test the format or your kishmiretu képek. Fejezi be a képet, és ö, néha baromi fárasztó, tehát ezt a mennyiséget és ezt a ö, formát tartom. The, I, I, I have the feeling that I talk too long, but there is one more thing I want to say. Today everyone can photograph because there are many tools like telephones and uh, well digital cameras and I, I have an impression that everybody is taking pictures and also I feel that there are far, far too many images in the, around us. But still I cannot finish, I cannot stop taking my own images and adding to that monstrous milliards of pictures to add my pictures. Tehát megváltozott a világ sokkal több felvétel készül, mobiltelefont használ, digitális kamera, de ez sem változtatta meg az ő hozzáállását, ugyanúgy készíti a kép. But not because I think I take very good photos. The project is not about very good photos. The project is about life, time, times changing and a personal view. I don't try to make very interesting photos. I just, uh, I just make them like quick, very accidentally, spontaneously. But all put together, one after the other, or mixed like, because here the chronology has been cut off when you can read on the text. When they get mixed, it becomes like the state of mind of what I have seen what I have lived and gone through. And it's this the story, I hope, not only of my life, but of, of my country and, my, and, and, and Polish people. And not for only Polish, because I have from many different countries also small pieces, like you can see in Budapest chapter. Thank you for coming and I finished talking. Hogy nem arról van szó, hogy jó képek, vagy tehát a kép minősége fontossága, hanem hogy együtt adnak egy képet egy ország életéről, sajátjáról, illetve több országot is, hogy sokat utazik, és mint a példamukat, tehát Budapestről, illetve Magyarországról is. És köszönjük szépen! And no professor will read his text. <laughs> no, Ali, I made it to him that he would have to read the same book as I did, and it was because of the relationship between us. It was a very interesting and good relationship, and his father read a lot. Sokat, és mondta, hogy én legyek smokingban, meg mit tudom fordítani, és mondtam, hogy ezt nem tudom, de megmérem, hogy smok, smok, pipázni fogok. Ez az egyik, és Anna, te meg kerestél oh, egy ilyet. This is what I love from my We used to import it, now you cannot find it in, in Polish. Call me and I, I agree. Thank you, Virginia.